last and the most important point I think for me babalik na ba natin yung team kalbo ng UST remember oh! you I'm kalbo yung buong UST team oh, What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Boleros. Uh alam mo, it's been it's been slow news day the, the past few days um sa, sa, when it comes to UAAP basketball, no? So, past few weeks we've been doing breaking news, but today we're going to do something different. We're going to do a news roundup. So, dahil wala masyadong breaking news, um we rounded up some of, you know, um, interesting or maybe related news uh, news related to the UAAP. So we're going to talk about three today. Um, let's start with the first one. Uh, I think it was a week or two weeks ago maybe. Uh, Harvey Pagsanghan, who supposedly left UE to turn pro. Uh, uh, MPBL ata, di ba? Gab, tama ba? MPBL. Yeah, MPBL. Yep. So went to the MPBL and then decided to take a U-turn or U-turn ba yun, or kumaliwa siya, uh, now he's joining the EAC Generals as part of uh, the NCAA for his last year of eligibility. So, what 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 do you think of that, um, Gab? An- antingin mo doon? And um, how, do, how does it look for UE that Harvey suddenly Ay, goes to oh. ano, EAC? I'm going to take this in, the, in two sides. First, from the UE side. Well, it's a big blow because uh, Harvey was probably the only mainstay left in UE from their entire rotation in season 85. You know, they lost Villegas, Payawal, the Paranada brothers. Uh, so the only guy left was Harvey and now he's gone. So... I guess it's really, really back to the drawing board for UE again. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of weird that uh, after a, a pretty, you know, solid season for them in season eighty-five, they're now barren again. Well, they still have Ray Remogat, but you know, he's only played two. two. He's only played two good games, and we're kind of an- anointing him as the King Warrior or already. But yeah, um, tough times for UE. Uh, I would not be surprised if they're at the bottom again of the standings. They kind of surprised us and everyone that they won five games in season 84, uh, 85, but I would not be surprised if they go winless again <laughs> in, in season 86. So tough, tough times to be a UE, to be a UE5. Now from the Harvey Pagsanghan side, um, I kind of like this. I mean, it keeps his options open no, for him. So if if his pro stint in the MPBL doesn't work out, yeah, he has another stint. He can go back to the NCAA and show his stuff there, maybe raise his stock, uh, try to get a new contract, uh, a, a better contract somewhere else, if it's in the PBA or not. Maybe You maybe get his draft stock higher in the PBA if he, if he wants to go there. So that's the interesting development. And and I know Maui will go into it later about this uh rule in the NCAA that or at your or at least in the GAB that um allows NCAA players to play in pro or semi-pro leagues but still be eligible to play in, in college. So uh I think it is great for Harvey. It gives him options. Uh he played kind of the th- fourth or third option in UE in season 85 did not really get a chance to to be the main guy yung, like he was in, in, in season 84 so it's good for him it raises his stock he has another opportunity uh, Maui anong sa tingin mo kayo dito ka news kay Harvey sorry just to ano, masingit, yeah, I... lang, masingit lang Gab um, ano na ba wala na ba yung both Paranada brothers akala ko si Nico lang yung older lang yung graduate or aalis. Sabi ni Jack Santiago, si Kyle din daw. Mga wala eh. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, Maui. Go ahead. What do you think? Well, to add, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Jack Santiago said both the Paranada brothers are going. But but the big surprise right now is that 
Angel Paranada is allegedly potentially going to Lasal. So if you can't beat them, just get them. Get Lasal them. Is doing that. Get the player that beats us. Um, <laughs> we'll see in the next coming days, next coming weeks if this is indeed indeed true. Uh, but yeah, uh, just to add to Gab's uh, statement about Harvey, uh, I think this is good for Harvey, uh, just like what Gab mentioned. Uh, it gives him flexibility. If he uh, flourishes in the MPBL, then maybe he can forgo the NCA. Uh, he will be taking one year residency before he can play uh, one year for EAC in the NCA. And I think uh, the, that window will... I'm being allowed to play in the MPBL is really good. Uh, I'm a big uh, supporter of players who have opportunities when they transfer to other schools. Um, players like Jerry Pingoy, uh, Soc Rivera were players who were hounded by residency rules. Um, but him having the opportunity to play in the MPBL is really a welcome sight. Um, but yeah, uh, Gab mentioned it a bit. Uh, I read somewhere that... Uh, the MPBL uh, was given clearance by the GAB to employ five set pro players per team. And I think uh, you gotta be uh, you gotta be uh, excited for this. Um, I don't think the PBA D League League has really blown up. Uh, if you were a kid uh, in the early 2000s, you would probably be very excited because you would remember the days of the PBL, the Philippine Basketball League. When all the love the PBL, players, yeah. When all the semi pro players played pro players who didn't make it or sa PBA made it in the PBA, um, and I think that this option is really good for players. Uh, it's very interesting to see how the UAP will interpret this rule. Uh, will the UAP allow players also to to play the NBL and go back? To they allow players to play sa PBA G D League and. They still get to play the UAP. So hopefully the UAP. I'm not probably. I I believe the UAP is a progressive league because of the commissioner, uh, executive uh, because of executive director Sagista. So I'm hoping that the UAP also adopts this rule. Uh, I think that's my take on this matter. Oh, okay. so I think you know agree with both of you. Good for Harvey. Um, pero yun lang no. Um, I guess good for him because. He has to redshirt for a year, but at least makakalaro siya ng semi-pro. No? So at least hindi siya uh, ma- matetenga lang. No? So I think that's what's good for him. Um, weird setup though. Um, we'll see what happens next. But really, I think this is m- bigger news for UE. Uh, they were the surprise of last season. They were yeah, our talaga. most <laughs> fun sila. team to watch. Can we say that? Most fun team uh, to yeah, watch. Yeah, they were. They were so yeah, yeah, much fun were. to watch. They were. And now I don't know what to expect from them. Um, They're all gone. All the star players are gone. Uh, feel bad for Coach Jack Santiago. Um, You always say, Gab, diba? it's about building a culture and a system. So... Uh, I, I wish you all the best. <laughs> na lang masasabi ko kasi hindi ko alam ano mangyayari sa akin. Okay, let's move on to the next bit of news. And I think speaking of coach and building a system, building a culture, I think this is one a bigger news for the UAP. It's confirmed. The Varsitarian has confirmed that yeah. Coach Pido Harencio is back in the Tigers' den as UST head coach. Signing a three-year contract with UST. Uh, uh, we all sort of predicted it. Um, the news broke out already. We talked about it during our uh, breaking news, Baldavid breaking news. Obviously, I feel like this is going to be a good thing for UST. Nahitaw na yung mga pictures. Magkatabi na si Cabanero tsaka si, si, si Pido. <laughs> Uh, parang maganda yung body language niya. We'll see, we'll see. Um, what do you think about this, Maui? Let's start with you this time. Yeah, uh, I think uh, sorry, David, I think bringing back Pido is probably the best thing that UST can do right now. Um, their team has to build an identity. Uh, UST is one of the best teams in UAP history. 
But uh, outside of that Aldin Ayo season or seasons with UST, they really struggled to find their foot itong 2000s. And I think this is their last resort. Uh, they're going back to a when UAP coach. Uh, they're going back to a U, U, uh, UST alumni. They're going back to a players coach, a coach who plays really rave about, especially during his time nung, nung, UA, nung time niya sa UAP. Um, and I think Nick Cabanera will really benefit from Doha Rizzo. Um, You talk about all the guards that all the guards that went through Pedro Renzo and them having great careers, them having big out years in the UAP. And I'm hoping, um, we are hoping, I think I can speak for everyone, yung, yung parity of games talaga ng UAP this season was unmatched versus previous seasons. And I'm hoping that UST will win at least five games this coming season. How about Oy. you, Gab? Gab. Uh, I'm gonna tackle this from again Coach Pido's side uh, and from the team and the fan side. So yung, yung let's go muna to the fan side. I think this Coach Pido hire was more uh, was also to ease the anger that is coming from the UST community. <laughs> I, I think we tackled this something. Yeah, yeah. The UST community have been asking to tear down the basketball program, parang rebuild it. Uh, get some new management in there, some new athletic directors. So I think this is para, this is kind of a good thing because you know oh you we're bringing back our championship coach and sasabi ng Maui and a former player, uh, yung an alumnus, uh, someone who's who is very well regarded in the UST community. So. Parang something to ease those that yung that anger yung from the fan side. I think this is a good thing to do. Do it, you know. Hire Coach Pido back. My second point is on Coach Pido's side, and I think Simawi you brought this up in our previous breaking news episode where when we tackled about the vid that it's kind of funny because he was he was talking about na SMC wants to put their uh, guy into UST and their guy is the coach of Northport who <laughs> happens to be a far team of SMC. <laughs> if, that, if that doesn't tell you how screwed the PBA is, I I, 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 I don't know what is. But yeah, <laughs> yun, that's funny. So, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yung third point is for the player side. Now, uh, uh, the, the players are the basketball side. Now, I, I, I do think Coach Pido is an excellent uh, players coach. Now, in terms of system, he does... Uh, I don't know if I like what he did in the in his years at Northport. Well, not entirely his fault. He's always being drained of players. But, you know, uh, he hasn't produced uh, much results in Northport. Uh, I... You, I would like to see him uh, adopt a style closer to what Jackson Siago has done in UE. You know, a lot more fast-paced, uh, a lot more three-point shooting because um, he does not have talent yet. And we talk about na si Garing lang yung graduate so it's mostly an, an intact roster. So with an intact roster, he has one, one and a half guys, Cabanero and Sifaye, who can actually, you know, uh, Put a dent in the game. The other guys are really raw. They have to develop. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, see, si Pido has produced results for UST before. So uh, in terms of basketball, maybe you'll see a more competitive team out there. Uh, who knows? May yung I think yung tama si Maui. If they can win five games in season eighty six, I think you know, that would be a uh, a win for them. Sam. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say three things just to close this uh, off. Um, I guess number one is now that they find officially um, announced the hiring of Pido, I think it's fair to say that we can expect them or SMC to announce soon their partnership. Um, I think that's the last step. Uh, we should expect that soon. Um, second, to be fair to Baldavid, he is also a UST player. 
um, played for the UST, yes. won a championship in UST. So I feel really, really bad for him. And I'm sure nakita nyo, I think it was his sister, sister but tweeted something, ranting about the way it was handled. I just think yun yung bad thing that came out of it, the way it was handled, no? Um, but last and the most important point, I think for me, Babalik na ba natin yung Team Kalbo ng UST? Remember oh! yung Team Kalbo yung buong UST team? Oh, With Coach Pido? Yeah. We gotta see that, man. We gotta see that. We need to bring that back. Napaka-throwback. <laughs> no. Hindi na uso yung mga ganun, no? I Hindi don't remember na. the Joe, the Joe Lipa teams of Ateneo would used to do that, diba? Lahat ng right. players yung Kalbo. It's like right. a team unity thing. Exactly. Ngayon, di na uso yung mga ganun, eh. <laughs> I, I think they should, no? Parang for for impact, para may effect. Like the first year of Coach Pido, Team Kalbo sila. Um, looking forward to that. <laughs> Joke lang naman yun. It's not the most important. But yun Good lang lala ko kayo na Coach Pido. Asking si, si Adama Faye to shave his curls, pare. <laughs> yung yung, 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 yung <laughs> curls pala, yung mga dreads. Yung dreads, mga dreads niya. niya. Pwede si <laughs> Adama Kabanyero. Si Kabanyero. Kulit yun eh. Kasi ni Cabanero yung madali lang eh. Kasi just a curly hair that he grew out. Si, si Faye, dreads mismo pari. So may yeah. care yun. Yeah, yeah, diba? Yeah. Papasin we'll see, mo yun. We'll see. But I think the ah, USD ako. alumni should petition for team, team Kalbo. What do you yeah. think, Maui? Sorry, what were you gonna say? Gab, with the inco- with, with SP incoming, you think Adami Faye will still be their FSA? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll with see. more funds coming in, uh, USA will probably get an influx of players. And I'll not, I'll not be surprised if they steal away or they, they're now going to be the team that's going to be stealing away players. Galit na galit sila nung si Cavanero. Pinag-uusapan na agawa naman. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, the entrance of SNC to the UST will... It's, the U.S. is going to be more crazy, definitely. And and we're, we're all here for that. No? We're all here for that. So we'll definitely talk about that once they officially announce it. Um, stay tuned here. No, uh, One last before we end, guys. Um, this time we're talking about a, UA, a UAAP graduate. Graduate of the UAAP. Talking about... Um, Justin Baltazar, JB, Justin Baltazar, um, not pushing through with his deal with the KBL, with his KBL team, Samsung. Tama ba? Samsung yung KBL team niya. It's, it's super, super weird. Um, first, lumabas yung tweets from reporters or, you know, um, key people in the industry na ginost down ni Justin Baltazar yung team niya and they weren't able to find s- sign the contract by the deadline which I think was like Feb 1, Feb 2 or something. Um, and then later on, I think there was something that came out na um, it was actually Samsung's fault for not um, taking care of the papers or whatever. It's just, it's a mess for me. I think it was poorly handled on both sides but I want to hear your thoughts on this. Like, what do you think happened? Number one, I guess, what do you think happened? And, you know, how does this affect Justin Baltazar's future? Or where do you think he will be going to next? Currently, he's with the strong group. Um, but after that, where does he go to next? sila. Natatalo na strong group. So, wala na sa doon. Hindi, meron ba? Talo na ba? Yeah, I think na. Tinalo sila niya. Yeah, yung natalo na sila. Uh, yung uh, yung okay. kay kay ano sa so the Lebanon point guard kay Arakji. Ah, he was the guy okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So Gab, what do you think? Ako this is sad for Justin Baltazar. Uh sad because he's had this is his, this was supposedly his second opportunity to go to another league of, uh not in the Philippines, you no. Know, uh for a better opportunity and if he does end up in the PBA. Ako, I'll be pretty disappointed. Because I think si Maui yung brought this up also. I think he's gonna play a big man in the PBA. I think he'll be because the PBA 
he loves to play po- post up you know uh they love to play their bigs as traditional as possible and we've said it for the longest time Sibalti has wing upside eh. wing and perimeter upside we we, you, we saw it when he was under coach Tab Baldwin he, he played in the wing shot threes uh played pick and roll you as the ball handler he can do that and when he plays here, he'll be back to playing a big man. Tapos yun, na. Mas stall na naman yung, yung development yeah. niya. He, he, he has that upside there. Eh. And uh, yun, sayang lang. And my second is, whoever his agent is, you gotta fire that dude, man. Oh, <laughs> who the hell is handling this guy? Uh, yeah, okay, siguro may, you may fault din yung Samsung dun sa KBL. But, you know... Uh, the, the agent should should handle those things, you know. Uh, you that's why you hire agent, so you don't have to think about those things, right? To to fix all these confusions and the fact that he's been in uh, so mired in controversy in in the B League and now in the KBL, I think it speaks a lot to how he's being handled by his agent. Then, so agreed, agreed. Uh, oh, kung, kung sino man yung agent na yan, he's got to change, man. Uh, Sobrang sama. Sama-sama ng pagkahanda sa kanya. Maui. Yeah. Uh, I think, Gab, si Balti is also part sa list ng players na handled by Government Pineda ba? And uh, yeah. I have to agree with Gab. Uh, regardless of the statements uh, released by some of these Korean uh, Twitter Twitter influencers or newsbreakers, um, it's sad to see Balti struggling to to find this a foot again abroad. Um, and I think you the main one of the reasons that this happened is because he he played for the strong group, which is what a temporary tournament, two week tournament. It's similar to how he handled the transfer niya to Japan. It was delayed because he played for Pampanga Delta, I think for for the NBL, another minor league. Um, but yeah, uh, whoever is handling Justin Baltazar, man, um, it's sad to see him stalling out his career. Um, we really saw the upside when he played sa Gilas. Uh, he could be, he's like Carl Tamayo. He's a unicorn in Philippine basketball. He's a big that can be converted to a wing player. Um, I had, or I, I still have very high hope Justin Baltazar, for inter- for, especially for his play as so a Philippine team. But you gotta you gotta worry. Uh, it's it's looking like he's being forced just to play in the PBA. And um, I, I completely agree with Gab. If he plays for the PBA, he's I probably see him peeking out. Um, it's gonna play the four or five position. And he's gonna be posting up. He won't be developing into a small forward, which is probably the best thing that he could get. Um, and sayang talaga yung opportunities abroad. I think uh, he's high, he's 6'8", 6'9". Um, he already has the perimeter skills. He just needs a lateral movement and probably the ball handling. Sayang talaga for him yung, yung, yung kay Baltazar. Uh, but when you look at the other side naman, uh, I think Samsung, Samsung Korea is really struggling also as an organization. Uh, they had issues when they signed Will Navarro. They had issues when they signed Joshua David, uh, also a Phil Am player. Um, and now they have issues also when they signed Justin Baltazar. All two of those were contact issues. One one was uncleared injury. Uh, it's frustrating to see Justin Baltazar uh, being blamed. Uh, it's painting a bad picture of, of him. Um, but hopefully, my hope is that Wherever he ends up, even if he ends up PB, he continues to develop. He finds his spot. Um, and he gets to play basketball regularly. Uh, that's the I, it's his career, so he really has to find a way to to find the, the right path, and hopefully he does. That's my take on that matter. Oh hey, oh hey, really good points, guys. Um I think Sinabi mo na gab no. Um there has to be some fault with uh, Baltazar's management on this. Because eh? it's not the first offense or it's not yeah. the first misstep that they've had, diba? Remember, 
um, you know, he signed with the Japan team. Sabi mo, Mao, hindi nga siya pumunta agad. Um, tapos, punta siyang Japan team. He didn't get, he left because apparently he couldn't get playing time. Those things, parang, hindi ba pinag-uusapan yun? Bang ko mag-sign sa team? Am I a good fit for this team? Will I be able to play? How will you play me? Are you gonna play me as a big or as a small forward? Those are things that you need to discuss with your team before you sign or with your manager before you sign. And then ngayon with the KBL, with Samsung, sort of paper issues, whatever the case may be, kung kasalanan talaga ng Samsung, kasalanan ng, ng Nina Baltazar, or maybe it's a little bit of both, that should have been managed better kung may Justin Baltazar needed to step away from the strong group competition. Maybe he should have. Kasi tama nga, di ba? It's a two-week competition. So, good points doon. Um, I think, maganda yung sinabi mo din, Maui. You know, when you think about it, para nga talaga siyang Carl Tamayo before Carl Tamayo came to the scene, no? Kasi, if I remember correctly, Justin Baltazar also played for the NU Bullpups in NU high school. Yeah. NU. He was a prized big man for the NU Bullpups. Um, 6'7 guy that could, you know, shoot. Uh, handle the ball a little. So, he was really Carl Tamayo before Carl Tamayo. Um, but, yung trajectory niya, and I, I really don't want this to happen, but it seems like, you know, he's really going to end up in the PPA. Yeah. So, for me, like what that. I would compare him to, yung potential niya and yung hype sa kanya, and then him maybe ending up in the PBA. I would compare him to someone like Arvin Tolentino. Um, guy that was really hyped. Huwag ka namang um, ganyan. Grabe ka. <laughs> guy was, that was <laughs> really hyped at the start. Uh, 6'5", may ball handling, may shooting. Rene-recruit ng mga Div 1 schools in the NCAA, US NCAA. And then, you know, ends up in the PBA as a, well, he's now a star player to be fair. But, Sayang yeah. yung potential. Nandun Could have been man. a lot more. Could have been a lot more. Exactly. I think in, that's what you're saying, Sap. Yeah, exactly. Well, but, hopefully... Go, yeah, go, sorry. go, Maui. Go, 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 go. Well, well hopefully, Sam, if Baldi does end up in the PBA, I hope he uh, gets a better career than Troy Rosario. I hope it is at least sa level man lang na Del de Ocampo, yung, yung career niya sa PBA. But if he's going to Northport, then he's probably gonna be going to San Miguel Group. So, good luck. To <laughs> That's true. But, I, I guess, yun nga, tama ka naman, Maui. I, I was gonna say, um, at the end of the day, you, you know, going to the PBA is not the worst thing that could happen. Yeah. Um, not... It will also depend on Justin Baltasar, how he makes, you know, how he makes um, his op- his opportunities, di ba? Parang how he will, you know, take advantage of his career, um, his basketball career. But hoping for the best again for Justin Baltazar, whether it's abroad or for the PBA, um, sayang lang, I, for me, he could have made more lang if he had played abroad. Um, baka mag, ano na rin siya, samahan niya si, ano, si Juan Gomez Deliano. San nga ba yun? Russia ba? Or something? Lithuania. I was going to say na he should hire one GDL's agent. <laughs> yeah. I think I and be that him first parang tinitingnan si Balti so it's really it's frustrating to see him sorry to say but settle if if he ends up CBA. I really thought that he could have had the potential to play in another Don't league be sorry ma. Uh, don't you don't be sorry. <laughs> Oh, hey, that's it. There's enough talk about uh, Justin Baltazar. We wish him luck. Um, that's it. That's it for our uh, quick news roundup. Actually, hindi na naging quick, no? Medyo napahaba din. Um, if you have comments on any of the news that we've talked about or anything we've missed, let us know. Comment down below. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Help us get to 1,000 subscribers. Um, if there are more breaking news, we'll definitely do them. But don't worry, guys. We have much more content for you. So don't forget, subscribe so you can listen to our 
um, off-season content all year long until we get to season 86. Um, thank you, guys. Um, have a have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.